वेलकम टू द पार्ट वन ऑफ अ सिक्स पार्ट क्रैश कोर्स ऑन अंडरस्टैंडिंग एक्सपोजर इन फोटोग्राफी फॉर बिगिनर्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सिक्स पार्ट सीरीज यू वुड हैव ग्रैप कंप्लीट अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑन एक्सपोजर प्रैक्टिकल यूज ऑफ एक्सपोजर पैरामीटर्स हाउ एंड वेन टू यूज डिफरेंट एक्सपोजर मोड एंड वेन एंड वाई टू गिव एक्सपोजर कॉम्पेजेशन फॉर कैप्चरिंग द वेल बैलेंस्ड एक्सपोज इमेज सो मेक श्योर डेट यू वॉच ऑल सिक्स वीडियोज एंड टू गेट नोटिफाइड वेन रिमेनिंग पार्ट आर पोस्टेड सिंपली सब्सक्राइब एंड रिंग द बेल आईकॉन Exposure is the amount of light allowed to enter and hit the camera sensor. Naturally, if this light allowed is more than required, it will result in a bright or the so-called overexposed image. Contrary to it, if the amount of light allowed to enter is less than required, it will result in a darker or the so-called underexposed picture. That means a calibrated or an optimum amount of light must hit the sensor to produce a well exposed image like this. To allow an optimum light to enter the camera system, we need to understand what are the factors which decides this light entry and how to control them there are four factors which will decide how much light would enter the camera and they are light level in the scene aperture diameter shutter speed and iso sensitivity of a sensor for the sake of convenience i have divided this crash course in six different parts let me give you an overview of what all will be covered in this series the first part that is the part which you are watching right now will cover the effect of light level in the scene and how we can modify it with the use of a diffuser and reflector watch this video till end and you will surely learn something new and interesting the second part will discuss the aperture which basically is a hole in the lens and its opening decides the amount of light which will be allowed to enter the camera aperture also has an additional role of deciding the depth of field The third video in this course will deal with the physical barrier between aperture and the sensor the so called shutter when we click for taking a photograph shutter opens for a designated amount of time and again recloses this time span between opening and closing will decide how much light would enter naturally if this time span is less that means the shutter speed is fast it will allow less light to enter reciprocally if the shutter speed is less that means the time span for which the shutter remains open is more then more light would be allowed to enter the camera shutter also has an additional function of either revealing or freezing the subject motion and we will discuss all this in detail in the third part in the fourth part of this course you will learn what is iso and how it affects the exposer iso stands for international standards organization number given to the film or a sensor it indicates the light sensitivity of a sensor more the iso greater the sensitivity In the fifth part of this crash course on exposure you will learn about different exposure mode and exposure compensation the final and the sixth part of this course will teach you about how the camera reads the light that is the metering mode and its effect on exposure level so coming to the first part which decides the exposure that is the light level in the scene naturally if the light level in the scene is more it will result in camera getting more light and an overexposed image keeping all other parameters constant if the light level is less then you end up getting less light entering the camera and the resultant dark image light level by and large is not under our control at least during jungle safari but if you are in a command to modify the light then you can do so by diffuser for softening the light and reflector to reduce the shadow or illuminate the subject cheapest diffuser i use is a tracing paper which is available in any stationery shop and the cheapest reflector is a thermocol sheet i always carry these two items whenever i am going for a photo walk let me give you a demonstration on how i use reflector and diffuser i will use a micro shot of a pink rose in my home garden for this demonstration this is my setup i am using nikkor 105 micro lens or nikon d500 body the light is harsh and its direction is from the right side if i shoot in this light the result you get is this blown out highlights and dark shadows it does not give a pleasing appearance to the overall image to reduce the highlights i use a diffuser basically a tracing sheet from the right side and to take care of my shadow area i use a reflector that is a thermocol sheet from the side opposite to the direction of light and now look at the result in this video as well as a photograph shot in natural light without diffuser or reflector with diffuser i get this result if you notice carefully the shadow is largely disguised but not nullified totally 
to get rid of the shadow and illuminate that area i add a reflector from the side opposite to the direction of light and you get such pleasing result explore this tip of using diffuser and reflector this will certainly enhance the overall appeal of your image so that was the part 1 of a crash course on learning exposure see you next weekend with part 2 of this series till then keep exploring